Good day ladies and gents, today we're gonna go through a couple of the changes BG applied to the game. And first of all, a week ago, maybe a bit more, BG reduced recoil for all the guns by 15%. I made a video about that, uh, you might have seen it, you might have not. And later on, a couple of days later, they silently buffed uh, VSS and ASVAL. They decreased vertical recoil of those guns by another 18%, which makes a huge difference. I'll show you how those guns operate right now, so you can see for yourself. I will not be controlling recoil in any way, just telling you in advance. All right, for the last one, for the last one, I will control recoil a bit. I want, I want to hit some shots. So this one will be controllable. Hopefully, my gun is not going to jam because it's super, super hot. All right, it did jam, but. Either way, you get that those guns are very versatile now, they are very useful. And if you haven't played with VSS or VAL yet, now is the time. I would advise you to play with VSS because it's cheaper than VAL, it's 160k on the flea market. And this is my belt. I check a foregrip, I check a um, cheap red dot, well, g green dot in this case. And off you go. You can also play with 20 rounders, that's totally fine. So yeah, if you haven't tried those guns yet, give it a go, they are truly amazing. And now let's move to the new changes. Yesterday BG announced that they adjusted different uh, types of um, ammunition from traders and they changed recipes, recipes for some of the crafts. And uh, generally it feels like they are increasing the price of top tier ammo, it becomes more expensive to craft it. Uh, if we go to the hideout, a good example would be BP bullets, BP bullets for 762. Um, in addition to the previous stuff you had to give in, you have to give 120 PS bullets now. Also the same thing applies for m 856 because you have to give the bullets in, or maybe it was uh, like this before. Anyway, uh, the, the craft's becoming a more expensive and uh, that's all you need to know. And the other big thing is that you can't, you can't craft BP bullets for Val anymore and instead of that you can craft uh, pub bullets. There we go. So this is the new craft. 200 SP6 bullets, which I think is a robbery because it's impossible to get them. Uh, they're out of stock right now all the time. And yeah, so you can't craft BP bullets for Val, but you can craft Pub 9. However, you can still buy BP bullets from Proper as a little trade. On max level, he sells packs of BP bullets. Um, for one pack of, tri of Strike cigarettes, you can get 8 bullets. So if you really want BP bullets, this is the way. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that right now you can craft only 40 M61s instead of 80. That's another big change. Um, yeah, so BG moved some of the move it, uh, some of the bullets to the low levels of traders, such as uh, subsonic bullets for MP7. Right now you can buy them from mechanic level 2 instead of mechanic level 3. And generally you can check their uh, updates on Twitter. I will link this post so you can see all the updates um, if you want. And today's update, which came out an hour ago, maybe less, maybe like 30 minutes, BSG said that they adjusted base prices for some of the attachments. But as the guy in the comments said, let's not call these adjustments, let's just call them increases instead. So BSG is definitely shifting meta by all of the changes, by reducing recoil, they want us to use uh, more guns, they want, to, they want to make the gun pool more versatile than it is now, because typically people run like 5 or 6 guns that are meta and... Um, like people don't run anything else and uh, by changing the amount of bullets people can get by increasing the price of the modifications for example there is a huge increase in price for Simot 14.5 inch QD rail handguard for the M4 used to be 30k now it's 53 and uh, if you if you assemble guns now it becomes more expensive if you run meta only so uh, I don't really know if this is gonna help with uh, seeing more different builds of the guns because for people like me, those price changes will make no difference. And for majority of the people that run meta, they have a really high amount of money and they don't really care about those price changes. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, this is generally not a bad change. Um, I'd love to see probably some of the AKs buffed in terms of uh, buffing the amount of damage the bullets do per, per hit. Increasing the base damage for, I don't know, Egolnik, BS, BT. And generally, probably adding 9mm bullets to the traders, so you can buy more of AP bullets 9mm and you can buy Igolnik uh, 9mm bullets. And maybe something like uh, ACP AP bullets, maybe, I don't know, like 
60, 90 of them per reset. Um, so yeah, those are the changes. You can definitely expect more changes like this in the nearest future because this is definitely not the end. We'll be getting more changes. And once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Share your thoughts down in the comments below. And I won't waste any other second of your time because we're done. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.